These are, ow. Gosh, my husband makes fun of my, my mess. I will do I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. I cannot believe it's already over. As you can see, I have got a new background and my husband hooked me up for Christmas. He got me a ring light, which is why the lighting seems so much better. And I'm finally able to film in my room instead of the pink room. And I got a headboard back here that I've been wanting for like ever with, I bought that with my Christmas money. So I am super excited about this new setup. I felt like the pink in the background was just a little bit juvenile and with no makeup on right now, I look like I'm 12 years old. Today I'm going to show you my everyday makeup routine. I needed to get ready anyways, and I thought I would just do a little bit of a makeup routine for you. Keep in mind, I feel like I have about three different makeup styles that I do, so I probably have no makeup, the bare minimum, like some concealer and some mascara and maybe like do my eyebrows or something. And then the next would be like, you know, I'm gonna go out and go shopping, I'm gonna be out with my kids, whatnot, like I still wanna look presentable. And then the last one would probably be like date night makeup. So this is going to be um, like I'm going out, going shopping, kind of makeup, stuff like that. So I did do a five minute like her like a five or under 10 minute makeup tutorial back in the past. And I probably need to redo that because the quality of the video was just terrible. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I use. Now most of this stuff is drugstore, um, but I will kind of explain it as I go through. So let's go ahead and get started. First off today, I am going to be using my, um, this is the Lumi Foundation. L'Oreal True Match Lumi, and my color is Creamy Natural C3. I kind of have a difficult time finding colors that match me um, correctly. Sometimes they're like, I'm like super white, obviously, but sometimes they're too um, warm, like they're too orange on my skin, and this one seems to work pretty well. I just like the finish of this. So also, if I'm looking down a little bit, it's because my mirror is right here, and I can't really see very well when I'm like talking to you. I'm using my Real Techniques sponge, which is really dirty looking, but, um, and then I'm just gonna put some on my sponge and just kind of dab it into my face. that's on and I look like super white. I promise I don't look that white in person, but I look so white in the camera. Um, I, and I also always put way too much on my hand. I forgot to mention that I do wet my sponge, so I get it damp before and just kind of wring it out. And that way it kind of seems to help the sponge not to soak up so much product and it helps to kind of evenly apply the foundation to where it's not too thick because that drives me crazy. All right, so next you're going to go ahead and take concealer and the concealer that I love is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Light. And I'm gonna go ahead and dot this under my eyes. I have the worst under eye circles because I have children and they don't sleep. I'm telling you, they don't sleep. And then down my nose, on my chin, and then on the sides of my nose, I get really red under my nose. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in with my finger. to go ahead and put on some powder. I use the Rimmel Stay Matte powder. And I just barely just to kind of set the um, foundation a little bit, but not to look like cakey or anything like that. 
Next, I'm going to take my bronzer, and this is my favorite part. This is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, and just a regular, this is like an old Eco Tools brush that I have, but I really like Eco Tools brushes. I think they're really good quality and a little bit like underrated. So I'm gonna go ahead and contour just a little bit with this bronzer. And then I'm just going to take it um, underneath my chin a little bit and dump my neck. So next I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. As you can see, they're fairly non-existent. They're so light in color. Um, this is the Benefit Gimme Brow in the number one. And I'm going to go ahead and fill those in. This is like my least favorite part of doing makeup. Like I feel like I am so terrible at brows. So I do my best because they're kind of oddly shaped. I don't know. They're just like really weirdly shaped. So... Now I'm going to go ahead and use some eyeshadow primer and this is by Wet n Wild and it's the Photo Focus. I think it's like $3 and this stuff works great. Like I wouldn't spend a whole bunch of money on the Urban Decay one when this one does just as good of a job. Like and I've, I've used other eyeshadow primers and I feel like this one is probably the best out of like drugstore type eyeshadow primers. I just feel like this one does a really good job of doing what it's supposed to do and it's three dollars. And I've had a lot of like, I have a lot of Wet n Wild products that I really really like. I think that they have like really good products for their price. For the most part I like to keep my eyeshadows very simple. Today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Amber Rush. These are like the best eyeshadows that you can, like you can use these without having to blend at all. I hate blending eyeshadows and I love these because they're so easy, like just one color on and they're beautiful and they stay on all day long. If I'm not mistaking, these are on sale or really hard to find a lot of places. I don't know if they're discontinuing them. They probably are, knowing my luck. But if you find some, pick them up. I was looking at Ulta and they had them for $3 and they were already picked over except for two colors. And it was like a really bright purple and like a dark, dark brown. And I knew that I probably wouldn't wear either one of those. I'm just going to be using a really cheap e.l.f. brush for this. And I'm just going to kind of go ahead and pat it all over my lids. bit like brighter than it really is like in person on the camera so next I'm going to go ahead and take um, my liner and this is the wet n wild mega liner it's a little bit difficult to kind of get the hang of drawing on your eyes and this is like my favorite liner of all time it stays on so well it doesn't burn my eyes if you have sensitive eyes this is great and the price is just amazing favorite mascara which everybody knows is the Super Sizer by CoverGirl in Fairy Black. It's actually a brand new tube so most of the time it takes like a few days before the tube actually like works really well but my other tube was like almost gone. Like for an everyday kind of look, I don't usually line the bottom. Sometimes I will take a 
um, like just a powder, a black powder or brown powder and line the bottom. I'm not going to do that right now because usually I don't do that. I will do that like on date nights or for when I want um, a little bit more fancier makeup, which I will do a tutorial on a little bit fancier makeup here coming up very soon. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my blush and today, um, I always switch up my blushes a lot, but today I'm going to go ahead and use the Milani Baked Blush and this is in Luminoso. And this is a Real Techniques blush, blush brush. And there we have it. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lip color. I'm gonna use Faux by MAC today. I'll wipe off my lips, but. And for every day, I don't usually mess with a lip liner. It's just too much. And there we have it. That is my everyday makeup look. This is usually what I do most days um, that I'm not just like, if I'm sitting around the house, forget it. I'm not wearing makeup. If I'm going out on a date or something really special, I will, you know, beef this up just a little bit. But this is pretty much what you will get on just the regular. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I just want to say thank you so much for all the comments on my last video. You guys gave me so many ideas, like so many ideas. And I just want to say thank you because I am so excited to dive into all of them. And I got a new swivel chair. So if I'm like doing this, it's really fun. I need to stop that. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the ideas. And stay tuned for all of my videos that are coming up very soon. I hope that you like my new background. I am totally digging this. Don't forget to subscribe and to give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in my next video.